Today I'm starting a new show called Yellow Jackets. I've heard nothing but good things about this show. I don't know much about the plot. The title isn't really giving me much to go off of. Obviously the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Yellow Jackets is I think of the insect, but I can't see that being the premise for a show. So I'm very curious to see what this is about. I know there is a new season coming out relatively soon. So I wanted to watch the first season before the second season came out. And I believe it's fairly limited episode episodes as well. I think maybe like eight or ten episodes for the first season. It's been on my watch list for a very long time, so I'm so excited to finally watch it. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. What the heck is going on, man? We just started. Those don't sound like animals. Her feet must be freezing. Oh! Oh no. Yep. Your feet will stick to the snow. She had one shoe, I guess. Oh, that hurts. Well, she's not climbing out of there, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. Poor kid. Oh. Oh. How do you survive that? What the frick is this thing? Definitely not say that, no. Hell yeah. I knew some of them pretty good back in the day. Not what does that mean? Good goddamn about trigonometry. <laughs> I don't blame him. I probably shouldn't say this, but some of these kids, yeah, no big loss if we're honest. Wow, that's a horrible thing to say. They were... They were champions. I really like the cinematography so far, this like pseudo documentary style. <laughs> Oh my. Look away, Vinny. Look away. No, don't steal my pen. <laughs> Quite the soundtrack so far. Oh my. No, no, no. Try undefeated, bitches! We're going to motherfucking national! <laughs> She's only a little excited. Oh my. Okay. So we're doing some flashbacks and present day. That doesn't look like it'd be her room. Ah. I know what you want to hear, but the truth is she really likes rabbits. Died and the rest of us starved and scavenged and prayed for 19 months. What? That's a long time. I mean to. Uh... I don't give a shit what you meant, you smug little bitch. <laughs> you don't know a about my life. Yep, I think it's gonna stay that way, bud, so don't let the door hit you on the way out. It'd be tempting for sure, but obviously there's some trauma, deep trauma, that uh, she doesn't want to talk about. Natalie, time for group. Is that Juliette Lewis? I love her as an actress. I haven't seen her anything in a long time. I feel like things got very Lord of the Flies situation. Oh my. That's a, that's a year and a half out there, man. You would make some choices. Huh. And then what happens? Everybody in Jamba Juice just starts getting online wherever the hell they want. It's gonna be chaos. So she's the queen of Jamba Juice now? Let it go, lady. After they rescued us, I 
Yeah, you'd be so focused on survival, then adjusting back to the real world. Natalie, he's gonna kick our ass, not yours! Only if they catch us. I think she might have a slight advantage in the athletic field, but... I like her gusto. Great soundtrack! Does someone want to tell Kelly Kapowski to maybe worry less about prom and more about not- Great Save by the Bell reference. Great cheerleader, love the enthusiasm. Go sports! And that's interesting to have it retold. Obviously, these women in the future survived whatever happened because we're hearing their stories. Oh, I'm sorry. The answer we're looking for is Paradise Lost. Oh, Linda, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Not that I believe any of those nasty stories, but now look at you. You're the queer Kamala. <laughs> Thank you. It seems like everybody keeps bringing it up. Not in my past. Ooh, a soundbite. I love it. Yeah, like, everybody that they've interacted with keeps bringing up this accident, obviously. And it seems like it's obviously been, like, 20-some years later. <laughs> this is the game. Step it up. She seems unnecessarily aggressive. If you can't freeze her out, she's gonna have to learn to play under pressure. Why is that your response? Like, she's your teammate, you're not helping her out. Finally. <gasps> oh, that was a crunch. Oh my god. Yep. That's a bone. That's a bone coming through. Yep. Yep. Holy f oh! I feel like she did that with... Ooh! You can't apply pressure to the bone! Christ on a cracker! Oh, mother of... Chicken nuggets, good. Hey, don't move her. <laughs> Stop moving. Okay? <laughs> I feel like she did that with some intention, or maybe I don't know. They were obviously fighting before, and she dove for the ball. And I'd like to think it was a horrible, horrible accident, but I don't know. She didn't want her to play, so now she got her wish. Yo, you ready to go? What's up, Mrs. S? Hi, Kyle. Oh, we're doing this. <laughs> Probably right about Randy anyway. I once saw him get outsmarted by an escalator. <laughs> Check your machines. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. That is like the least efficient way to say that. <laughs> yeah. I do. I'm guessing they don't drug test, uh... Soccer nationals for high school students. I admire your resilience, Ty. Can be easy knowing you crippled someone today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shots fired. Cool. Good talk. Just admit you did it on purpose. I feel like she did a little bit. Yellow jackets with me now. Maybe that's why Jackie is captain. Okay, okay. I'm about to go to nationals. And based on what I'm looking at right now, we might as well not even bother getting on that plane. I'm sure they would regret that sentiment, considering we know the plane crashes. Unless someone really deserves it. Also, I like your pilgrim hat. <laughs> I'm curious if this is based in any way on reality, I know there was a rugby team in the 70s, I think, their plane crashed. And I believe they resorted to cannibalism, which looked exactly what those guys were doing. Please no spoilers, but that was kind of what came to mind. Why is she kissing her like best friend's boyfriend? What's happening? Hey, I, I, I thought we weren't doing this again. Again? No. Again. And she even said, like, this morning, like, oh, you guys broke up so many times. Oh, no, Shauna. <sighs> 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 
And that's why her friend was saying, like, oh, we're both virgins. And she was like, mm, obviously that's not accurate. Oh, no. <laughs> well, she does love bunnies. Oh, my God. Yikes. You could have. There's so many other options instead of murdering the baby bunny. She's just watching it drown. That's horrible. She's she's gonna be a dark horse. There's something something going on with that one. If someone's digging, we are all f Take care of it. What does that mean? What is Ty gonna do about it? If he does anything crazy, we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, they're definitely keeping a secret of some kind, for sure. I wasn't sure how I'd feel, but I think it'll be good to reconnect. Nope, nope. She's going on a rampage. And it looks like she's the same necklace that uh, Shauna has as well. The, like, half circles. Yep, that's a person. Yep, they're eating their friend. And very ritualistic. Like, they've obviously practiced this and somebody's leading this chaos. Some big old antlers. God, I don't even want to think about. Ugh. Is that Christina Ricci? Happy Friday, Mrs. De Janeiro. Time for your meds. I think she'd be the nurse that hurts people. Have you been a good girl today? Nope, 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 nope. The cast is so cool. I'm very excited to see where this is going to go. I have told you, you just have to press the button and someone will come. She doesn't want you there, buddy. People who watch rats drown in... Yeah, forget this noise. People who watch rats drown in pools usually don't become nurses to take care of people. Just a thought. This dose. Mm -hmm. Don't f*** me. Something's up with this one, for sure. She's She's got a few uh, screws loose, man. Oh, she's wearing yellow, just like Pennywise. And an umbrella. Should be first on Natalie's list. Oh, God. Was that trap sent for each other or meant for animals? Yep, there's the plane. Oh, yeah, they definitely didn't make it to Seattle. I briefly heard the pilots say the Canadian Rockies and that looks like where they ended up. She's too out of it on volume. She doesn't even know what's happening. Oh no. Oh no. We know they survived, but yeah. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Do not watch this if you're getting on a plane in the near future. Vinny! No! No! Vinny! Stop! <laughs> yes, it was Christina Re and Juliette Lewis. Excellent. And I recognize the actress who played Shauna as well. I was wondering if it was filmed in Canada. I knew it! I saw, um... Beer Christmas Limited? Filmed in BC. Okay, that checks out for sure. So that was my first time watching Yellow Jackets Season 1, Episode 1. I really enjoyed it. I thought they did a good job of setting things up. Obviously, right away we find out that there's this plane crash and they go back and forth between present day and the year that the plane crash took place. I'm glad they didn't spend, you know, five episodes setting up this mystery. We know pretty early on that this is what happens and we can tell by the girls that are alive at present day who's going to survive 
survive this plane crash, which kind of takes away some of the suspense of who's going to make it and who doesn't. But the way that they're playing it out also alludes that the girls who made it probably made some really terrifying choices in this situation and they're desperately trying to keep those secrets hidden. And even though this accident took place, you know, over 20 years ago, they're still processing it almost like it just happened. Like Shauna's meeting with Ty to talk about it and is very worried that someone's going to find out something. And it sounds like they did something. Obviously, we saw from flashbacks. We don't get to see the girls' faces. The only one we really see, Vinny! Please don't. Vinny has been sleeping all day and now his zoomy hour has kicked in. So I apologize if you see some random shots of me trying to stop him uh, from eating the letters off this board. He loves to try and do that. In the flashbacks, the only girl's face we really get a chance to see is at the end when, you know, Misty lifts up her mask and puts her glasses on, which is very distinguishing of her character and we can tell right away that it's her. And I think they did a great job with the casting as well. I'm very excited to see as lots of actresses that I enjoy and even the actors that play the younger parts and the older parts I think they did a good job of matching them up and it's believable that that's what they would look like you know when they're older it looks similar which I think they did a great job with I really like Christina Ricci Juliette Lewis uh, I apologize I'm blanking on the girl's name who plays Shauna but I know I've seen her and stuff before as well so yeah I'm very excited to see where this progresses I don't recognize any of the actresses who play uh, the younger versions but let me know in the comments where would I know them from is this kind of their first big you know breakout role a really great soundtrack I was dancing along there was so many fun songs and obviously at the 90s there's throwback songs and if you grew up around that time you know definitely some nostalgic moments for that so that was great and I thought they did a good job of incorporating it especially with like the sports scenes you know those like pump up songs and stuff that everybody used to listen to first episodes especially of a first season are usually not the best because they have to lay the groundwork for everything but I still feel like they did a very solid job of setting up the scene explaining things there was definitely scenes that were more involved with talking but I wasn't bored I was like okay where are we going with this like they did a good job and I feel like there's enough characters in the cast that they can kind of pick in between I feel like Shauna and Jackie are going to be our main characters in this and we obviously have Ty as well, Misty, Natalie, they mentioned the goalie's name, I think it was Vanessa. We have Laura Lee as well and I'm sure the team is bigger than the like six or seven that I mentioned but those seem to be the ones that our story will be focusing on. Maybe the others don't survive the crash. Please no spoilers but that's kind of my prediction as we don't get to meet them. As horrible as it sounds that girl Allie is probably grateful this accident happened because then she wasn't on the plane and I'm sure at the time she didn't realize what was happening but obviously we see you know later on that her not being on the plane might have saved her life because if she had been on the plane with an injury it wouldn't have been good either way and the fact that you know the girls are on Vicodin and are passed out not really even paying attention Shauna and Jackie are both in the dead asleep no idea what's happening somebody else has to put the air masks on for them which is you know rule number two you put your own mask on first and then you help other people and luckily somebody did but just that look on Shauna's face when she looks out the window and is trying to see where they are and trying to figure it out and that slow descent. We don't hear like the final crash, but obviously we know what's what happens. And it said they were trying to avoid a storm. The pilot came on at the beginning or when they were on the plane and mentioned they might go, you know, through the Canadian Rockies or something like that to avoid this storm in Seattle. So yeah, I'm very curious as to what happened because the sky outside looked fine it didn't look like there was a huge storm it looked like it was a summer day so yeah, I'm curious to find out what caused the crash again that's episode one I think they did a good job of introducing everybody and still leaving us enough to have intrigue for future episodes I definitely want to watch episode two right away and Natalie you know taking LSD the night before how's that gonna mess with her perception of what's happening or maybe it'll help I don't know but she's gonna be having an interesting experience for sure. I feel like the way they ended this episode, Natalie is going on a rampage and is maybe going to be unaliving some of these people based on the things that they did and she's like, well, you have to have a purpose, you know, in her meeting and I feel like her purpose now is revenge. That's just the impression I got based on her actions and 
Misty is a character I'm very worried about what she's going to do to people. And given the situation, yeah, I feel like she's going to exploit a lot of things in this area. I had a hunch the show might have been Canadian or filmed in Canada. And then at the end, we have the credits, you know, BC filming and everything like that. So I always watch the credits as much as possible. And I was waiting for that to come up. And I was like, yes, I knew it. But they did a really good job of hiding it. Obviously, the Rockies would be in Canada and the US as well. But yeah, I'm very excited. I love Canadian shows. So I'm very excited to continue to see where this is going to go. I like the cinematography as well. I like when they take the time to take more artistic shots. I don't feel like every shot, you know, they took, it didn't take away from the storytelling. I think it enhanced it. We have that, even the first opening shot, that Ariel, you know, following the footsteps until she falls into the trap and that shot of Natalie, you know, looking out the trailer window, just, just the little things like framing and setting it up to make it look more distinct and a little bit more artistic. I really enjoy. So I'm very excited to see and I think it just adds a new level to the show when they take the time to put in the extra effort into those cinematic shots. The girls after the plane crash wearing those very, it gave me like folklore, horror movie, ritualistic sacrifice vibes. And obviously we learn horribly that they have hunted and trapped one of their own and are eating them as horrible as that is. And they're trapped in the winter. We find out they're out there for a year and a half, like 19 months. And that's a very, very, very long time to survive. And in the summer, you could probably get away with it. But in the winter, it's going to be tough. You're going to have to get horribly creative. And I feel like that's exactly what they did. And they're going to run out of people eventually. Like, it's just horrible. I don't know how they get rescued, anything like that. Again, first episode. I know there's a lot of big questions, but... I'm very worried as to where the group's going to go if we're already starting off with episode one of hunting and eating people. And it's not like that girl, you know, died in the plane crash. She was alive and running away. And the sounds that they were making definitely were trying to imitate other animals or something like that. Like, I feel like they've gone to a very primal place. Yeah, right now it feels like Lord of the Flies, which is already horrific, meets, you know, a horror movie combo, something like that. And just how they've kind of adapted to be this way. I don't know. Maybe that was their first winter there. Maybe after six months. I don't know. But yeah, it's just... I'm terrified to find out what else is in store. If we, yeah, we're already starting off on that note. And it's interesting that they're on this private plane and that obviously there's no other passengers on board. It's not like they're on like a giant, you know, 747 or anything like that. It's literally just them on board. And yeah, just I'm very, very interested in the show and I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely very dark. I'm glad we got to see a little bit of the backstory of each character, even if it was a couple scenes. I think it kind of helps sets the backstory. We know one of the girls' family is very, very wealthy. She was taking some kind of medication with her breakfast. Natalie seems to be, you know, on her own path, doing her own thing, drinking and dabbling more in drugs. We find out Shauna is, in fact, sleeping with Jeff, who is her best friend, you know, Jackie's boyfriend. And Jackie thinks that, you know, Jeff has been faithful to her this whole time. And just so I think there's also something very suspicious about Shauna. And when Shauna and Time meet up together in the future, it both seems like they both have things. It's not like, oh, I've got dirt on you, but you don't have anything on me. It very much seems like they both did horrible, horrible things. So, and we saw her just like murder that bunny in her garden. Like something's, something's stirring in suburbia for sure. Like I, I don't trust her. She might put on a good front now and nobody knows what happened, but clearly something went down. So I'm curious to see how much of the show will be revealed in the next episode if it'll wait till we'll find out everything to the last episode um, please no spoilers but overall I really enjoyed the episode I thought the cinematography was well done the soundtrack was amazing especially for a big cast I thought they did a good job of giving everybody kind of their moment to shine and still showing the audience who to focus on and who the main people are going to be but I already feel like this is going to be a show you're going to want to rewatch, especially as secrets are revealed and mysteries, you know, come to light. And thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Those don't sound like animals. How do you survive that? She really likes rabbits. That's a bone coming through. I'm sure they would regret that sentiment. 
considering we know the plane crashes. Why is she kissing her, like, best friend's boyfriend? She's just watching it drown. Yep, that's a person. Yep, they're eating their friend. 